After eons of tyranny, the demon god Adir was finally overthrown by humanity. Though fear of his terrible power endured. And so was formed the hallowed Sentinels. Our duty being to stand vigil for signs of his return. Even exile to another realm could not silence the fallen god forever. And in time, Adir's malignant influence pervaded the world once more. In his hunger for vengeance, Adir orchestrated the return of his demonic army. Light was swallowed by shadow, and with it, hope. A new, grim champion arises. The Dark Crusader. And perhaps it will indeed come to pass that only they who shun the light in order to fight the darkness possess the power to defy a god. Forgive me. I'd steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I.
Law, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import.
I always wondered if there were others. You're probably thinking that lamp's just a tool to be used as you see fit. Take it lightly, and you'll find it's the other way around. Mark my words. I don't know who you are, and I don't care. But since it seems a deer has you marked, making you a bigger threat to the rogue ourselves as both, I've defied the wills of gods and kings. If you know any kind of freedom, you'll do the same. I've defied... If you know any...
You carry the lamp long enough, and you'll see history repeat, over and over. If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself should you fall, make use of this. I've given you more umbral guidance than I ever had. From now on, find your own way, and stay out of mine. I've given you more um- from now on,
Holy Aureus, by your radiance, grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days, to lay bare the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters, so we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, bearing what was not yours to receive. A betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook.
sisters, you honor us and all who came before you with your sacrifices. While I wish they were unnecessary, my wishes will not ease your suffering, but I pray my sorcery does. Welcome, Dark Crusader. I had no doubt in my assessment of you as one worthy of the monumental task which lies before us, Crusader. My name is Dunmire. And I am an exactor of the Dark Crusaders, the holy order of which you are now an honored member. The Church of Orion Radiance has assigned to me the duty of purging Mornstead of its Rogar blight and ensuring the ancient tyrant Adir knows no liberation from his enduring imprisonment. While the schism between the Church and Judge Cleric is of long standing, she and her hallowed sentinels, now perverted, did at least construct Mornstead's radiant beacons, which have prevented Adir's return for centuries. But now, you stand corrupted and on the verge of collapse. It is to these five beacons you must turn your eye. Use the Umbral Lamp to cleanse them of Adir's destructive influence and deliver salvation to a world on the brink of perdition. Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no quarter, so remember, though Aureus' mercy is without limit, yours should not be. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. Drive in dark, Rogar and have the Aureus. By Aureus's divine will, I live again. It's a miracle. And to think I raised my sword to you, when all along you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Forgive me, Lampair. I'm Pieta, of the Hallowed Sentinels. And as Aureus sustains me, so too will I sustain you. Whether by making manifest your potential or through my healing blood, contained within the Sanguinarics you carry. Should you find any saintly quintessences, bring them to me, and they can bolster the power of my blood further still. The beacons must be cleansed, the hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through whatever is to come, fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. Our holy work continues, Lamp. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. The beacons must be cleansed, the hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through whatever is to come, 
fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. The lamp must be born until the favored child makes themselves known. Only then can the remaining carrion of creation finally return to the void. Chosen bearer of the lamp, like you I serve. Until her in vain. The lamp only then. So the exactors found himself a new instrument, as exactors are wont to do. And given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall. And yet now here you are, lamp bearer. Well, it seems I was right to doubt the value of a dull crusader's work. I'm Stoneman, captain of the Fidelis. A group of good men and women who've made a stand against the madness which has possessed the rest of the hallowed sentinels. We made a vow to restore our order to its former glory, whatever the cost to ourselves. And by Judge Cleric's grace, we'll honor that vow. That heretical umbral lamp and the Dark Crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times, as are you, it would seem. Perhaps our aims will align further. Or perhaps not. Look at you. A dark crusader, a lamp bearer, and a revenant to boot. Aren't you the multifaceted one? Well, we Fidelis aren't as fortunate. We tend to stay dead when we die. And Aureus knows enough of us have done just that. Anyway, like Nathaniel says, you keep looking back, you don't see the blade coming at your front. We set ourselves a task and we have to finish it. That lamp you've got there is heresy, stranger. But then, seems it's getting harder to tell what is and what ain't nowadays. Ah, <laughs> oh, strange times. But in the end, there's right and there's wrong. And that never changes. And I hope for both our sakes you know the difference. of immortality, and a genuine article, not a useless empty vessel like the one I saw that witless fool bumbling around with. I've learned a little since coming to Mornstead about that lamp and the awful mission to which it's attached. I hope you recognize that frightful burden for what it is. In truth, what's been done to you is downright cruel. Of course, some people are born into roles of tremendous responsibility. My name is Andreas of Ebb, esteemed scion of nobility, but far more than that, descendant of the great ruler Andanas himself, as proven by my family's book of lineage, for one. That's right. 
Through my veins flows the blood of the legendary hero who defied Adir and the Rogar and saved the whole world, only to be betrayed and murdered by a common criminal. So you'll understand a man of my pedigree cannot simply stand idle while an unfortunate victim such as yourself remains shackled to such a grim fate. Give me the lamp, hmm? and let me shoulder your burden, friend. What say you? No? It saddens me to see you bring such agony down upon your own head. I hope you see sense and reconsider. <laughs>